British MEP claims Tony Blair is behind Remain coup attempting to put a stop to Brexit. Independent British MEP Stephen Wolfe suggested there was an attempt at a Remain coup at the Brexit referendum. The Brexiteer suggested the technique used by Remainers is similar to the way the Labour Party used to work under Tony Blair. Speaking to Talk Radio, Mr Wolfe said he did not want to point the finger at the former Prime Minister but insisted Mr Blair was in the position to try to fight against Brexit. He said, I have had a feeling for some time there is an attempt at a Remain coup at the Brexit referendum and that it is being orchestrated. At the very least, there's a mad group think that's going around with them. But when you're hearing the same phrases, that's very reminiscent of the way the old Labour Party used to work under Tony Blair. We do know that Tony Blair has got a nice spanking £64 million office in the middle of Westminster. He said he's raised millions for Britain to remain in, he's been over to see Tuscan Junker in the European Union. He's got these long contacts with people like John Major and Nick Clegg who talk to him regularly about what should be done. I'm not going to point the finger saying it's him right at the core of it, but it is reminiscent of the Blair period. He is the man with the money, power and contacts to undertake this, but it could also be the fact that the Remainers have got this group think going together. The MEP also claimed that during his meetings with counterparts from across European Union member states, other countries are concerned about the slow progress in Brexit negotiations. He said, there's clear evidence from MEPs that I talk to, in particular from the Germans who are particularly concerned the progress on a new trade deal hasn't happened. There's a lot of worry out there from MEPs who are concerned that we are not just moving fast enough. And they have believed from a long time that the EU were playing games and just trying to drag Britain along, particularly those from the French side of things. Only since the momentum for a no-deal has grown in the UK do you actually now get the feeling that Britain might leave, that started to panic them. The comments come after the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk gave the EU the green light to begin preparations to discuss a future trade agreement, so negotiations can begin in December. During Mrs May's trip to the European Council summit in Brussels, the Prime Minister urged her counterparts to give the UK a deal that she can defend to the British people and called for the EU to make a joint effort and endeavour in talks 